Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Championship 2018, KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fighter representing Czech Republic, Vasil Dukar. The monster from the Czech Republic, Vasil Dukar, who we've seen on a number of occasions here in KOK, and he has been in some wars here and has won over the fans here in King of Kings. What a fantastic record. 22 and three for the 26 year old. He is a KOK World Grand Prix winner in 2017, beating Lucian Danileku and Danut Hurduk in one night and won the final fight after an extra round and is definitely one of the top contenders in the light heavyweight division. Czech Republic. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner, fight representing Holland, Samir Bukhidus. Well, the grizzled veteran, Samir Bukhidus, hailing from Holland by way of Morocco and trains at Hemmer's Gym. 34 and seven as a professional for the 36 year old. Take a look at that twisted nose. You know he's been in a few fights in his career and is looking to make waves once again here in KLK in this ever important matchup for him. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Super Fights. Fighting for the blue corner, 26 years old, official height 190 centimeter, official weight 95 kilograms. His personal record, 22 wins, three losses. Czech amateur boxing champion, KOK World Grand Prix winner, representing Muay Thai Pro Gym, Czech Republic, Vasil Duka. Fighting for the red corner, 36 years old, official height 190 centimeter, official weight 95 kilograms. His personal record, 34 wins, 4 losses. Participant and winner of international fighting events, Hammer Jim Holland, Samir Bukhido. Ring referee Andre Grosso, KOK rules, 3 rounds, 3 minutes each. Round one. And these are two massive 95 kilo fighters. Two very talented individuals. You could feel that shot. Cracking low kicks. The Czech fighter comes right back with combination punches. I just got a bad feeling about this fight. I got a really bad feeling that somebody Stop. is gonna walk out of here without a complete memory of what actually happened. Dukar cautiously cutting down the ring. Strange eerie silence has fallen over the crowd here in Kishino. Stop. As Bukhari's all over him in the Fight. corner here. Powerful shots there on that exchange. Dukar smiling after those low kicks. 
Those things have got to sting, man. They've got to hurt. But Dukar is the kind of fighter who loves a fight. He loves to get in there and mix it up. He's got absolutely no problem. Dukar was in one of the best fights of last year in 2017 when he took on Alexander Berduja. Suddenly had a brain fart there for a minute. Couldn't remember who he was fighting, but it was Alexander Berduja about one year ago here in Kishino, which I thought was the fight of the year. Nice jab there from the Czech fighter. Coming up on 30 seconds left in the opening round. I think both guys have really kind of laid into each other and landed a couple of shots, maybe not flush, but enough to kind of warn their opponent as to what they're getting into. And now both guys, with good reason, a little bit cautious here. Dukar again smiling. He likes it. He loves mixing it up. But he's also cautious too, and he knows what he's getting into with this experienced fighter from Hemmer's gym. Time. End, end of round one. Fight, second round. Here we go, round two action. Jabs, double, triple by Dukar. Inside leg kick by the Moroccan. Now to the outside. You can hear those shots, every single shot. It doesn't matter if it's a jab, if it's a low kick, if it's whatever it is, you can hear the impact and feel the power behind every single one of those shots. Nobody's in there just getting some light sparring in. These guys are out for blood. Time. Corner. It was a little bit wet over there in that corner. corner. Well, he's jumping right in that ring, isn't he? Time. He's doing his job, mopping it up. Safety should be the first thing on the mind of the referee. And if that means getting the, the ring boy in there, the mop it up, then so be it. One minute gone by here in round number two. Action starting to pick up. Hard low kicks, very hard shots going in. Whoa. A lot of smoke on that right hand there from Baukidus. Stop. Into the corner they go. Fight. The cameraman almost got a little bit more than he bargained for. Here comes Baukidus. Slowly but surely moving forward. Dukar now fighting fire with fire. Bokitas looking for a knee, Go. connects Fight. as they go hard into the clinch. Go. 
whoa, that one got him right upside the head through the glove. Check out the shoulder of Dukar, the back, the upper body. This dude packs a powerful punch. Balkidis, no slouch himself. This is, this is top level talent here in the ring right now, folks. These are the cream of the crop as far as light heavyweight fighters are concerned in the world of kickboxing. 10 second hammer goes down. Whoa, he almost caught him on the way out there with that kick by surprise. Five. And a nice way to end round number two here in the face. Like a can of mace, baby. Well, things really picked up there at the end of that second round. These two guys putting a lot of extra mustard on some of these shots here. Marcel Ducar, man, he's all smiles in there. But don't let him fool you. He's not in there to make you a bologna sandwich. He's in there to knock your teeth right down your throat. Head kick goes in from the Moroccan. That was a nice shot. Oh, and you can hear these two grunting at each other. They continue to throw those power shots. Fight. Something's got to give, man. You can't take punishment like this. The human body was not meant to absorb the kind of power that these two are throwing at each other. And something's got to give sooner or later. Look at how focused these two are. Keeping a very, very close eye on each other. This is just a pleasure to watch. Two very skilled technicians in there. Two very powerful fighters. Two high level fighters and uh, Dukar just lost his balance there. And at the same time managed to knock back Balkidis as well. Hard leg kick going in. One in return from the Moroccan. Here he goes. Hey. Up. Time. Come to me both. After stop, no action. After stop, no action. Time. Fight. Both guys being warned there to keep it under a lid as soon as he says stop. Here we go. Hard shots going in, left, less than a minute left in the fight now. Hard leg kick there from Balkidis. He gets a lot of torque and momentum on those leg kicks. Does Samir Balkidis call him click, click? Because after that comes the boom. 30 seconds left now, time running out. If one of these guys is really gonna do a number on the other, now's the chance. Here we go! 
Ducar now. Had an opportunity there. Baukitas looking to his corner to Errol Zimmerman for advice here. Taunting Ducar. Looks like he's seen a ghost. Five. <laughs> These two love to fight. Tell you what. Very entertaining matchup here between these two. Nobody could really, really pull the trigger and, and get uh, one of those good, clean knockout shots in. That's the way it goes sometimes. Let's go take another look at what happened there in that third and final round. How do you guys have it scored at home? Great matchup here between these two. Ritas Kuzmenka is taking a little bit longer than usual to get into the ring, so we'll find out if that means that the scores were difficult to tabulate. Fighters. Let's get the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Championship 2018, KOK Super Fight. After three rounds, I will announce decision of each judge. Uh oh. Judge one, Vasil Duka. Judge two, Samir Bukhinos. Judge three, draw. Extra round. Here we go. You saw it at the end of round three. Bukidas opening his mouth, taunting Dukar. These two are ready to go an extra round here at the Kishino World Grand Prix in Moldova. Super fight in the light heavyweight division. Vassal Dukar and Samir Baukidus. Whatever happened as far as the scorecards are concerned in the first three rounds are now out the window. This extra round will decide it once and for all. But Here we go. Extra round. Let's see if this extra round lights a fire under this fight or not. These two have pushed each other to the breaking point here and perhaps now more than ever, something has got to give. I had a feeling, just a funny feeling before this fight, that something was gonna go terribly wrong for one of these guys, and this thing could end in a premature finish. Ooh, the head snapping back there a couple times of Baukidis. See if my premonition comes to light or not. Whoa! Things really getting out of control here. Neither guy willing to back down. And referee Andre Grosu laying down the law. I have a feeling that Dukar may get the yellow card as well. Yep. Yellow card. After stop, no action. I want to see a clear fight. Or you will be disqualified. Time. Fight. Well, it's kind of like with your older brother or your classmates. Both guys are to blame. And the referee laying the law down here. Here we go. Don't go make a sandwich now, folks. This one is getting interesting in a hurry. Fight. This is the extra round, so they've got it all to do right here. Whoever wins this one, wins it all. Here comes Baukidas. Wild spinning back fist from the Moroccan. 
Dukar still pressing forward. Simultaneous jabs there from both gentlemen. Action now wavering just a bit. Both these guys have been through a war, not even counting the first three rounds. Here comes Balkitas now into the neutral corner. Referee calling for a break and this time gets it right away. Back and forth action now. Bukitas putting the pressure on. Dukar nailed him with the left hand. And now he's moving forward. This crowd going ballistic. Ooh, nice jab there by Balkitas. Dukar, not sure if he looked at his corner. He looked somewhere and he got popped with a shot. Low kick goes in, a warning shot from Balkitas. Time running out here. Oh, he, is that? He's slow to get up. If he would have wasted any more time, that could have been ruled a knockdown. He looks a little bit unstable right now. And that is the end of the fight. Or is it? Who knows? I think we're gonna have ourselves a winner here, one way or the other. Well, things could not be contained anymore. And they really came to a head there in that extra round. Great fight by both of these guys. Dukar raising his hand and walking around the ring here as we take a look what happened in that extra round. Things got very heated in the corner there. And referee Andre Grosu had to bust out the yellow card on both individuals. I think right at the end of the round, Balkitas looked like he was wavering just a little bit. But both of these guys were landing some power shots. But right at the end of the round, maybe, just maybe, Dukar did enough to sneak Ladies out the victory. And gentlemen, KOP World Championship 2018. KOP Super Fight. After the extra round, by unanimous judge decision, the winner is... Blue Corner, Vasil yep. Republic. Dukar did it. He's still pointing to his shoulder. Great fight between these two. Vasil Dukar. Successful once again here in King of Kings, putting the light heavyweight division on notice. Well, Sergey Maslaboyev is the current king of the light heavyweight division. Vasal Dukar could have him in his sights. That matchup could happen sooner than later. Let's hope so.